I'm Rob McCann. I'm the PR director for the Sweetwater JCs and the world's largest rattlesnake roundup. I get asked all the time, how many people does it take to put this roundup on? Well, it takes 11,000 people because that's how many people live in our town. Everybody has some role in this roundup, whether you're down here handling snakes or you're just shopping this weekend, you're part of our community. Um, it takes our whole community to put this event on. Okay, well, what I happened? I went to pet the snake, and I guess its defense mechanism is to shoot out a spray, and it nailed me right above my eye. It doesn't smell good, and, and I'm it stuck stinks. with it for the next few days, so it's not <laughs> its not going to be pleasant for me. I, I can smell it right now. It's, and the only thing is to spray right guard on it, so that's what, that's what he said. <laughs> yes. uh. So I smell like right guard and mess. And this is my first time here, first you experience. Did. This is our first activity and I got nailed in the eye. <laughs> in uh, 1958, when this started 59 years ago, it started off as farmers trying to help the city keep the snakes from in town. And it has grown to be this humongous event that, has, that helps the city monetarily wise and educational wise. It's just one of the biggest things that this city has ever done. Curtis. Yeah, I do the historical reenactments. You know, things like uh, Washington on the Brazos and uh, and and San Jacinto battles and uh, things like so, that. Okay, so you're a reenactor? No, but I show up like I'm a reenactor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just a festive kind of guy. That's good. That's good. Kind of guy. That's good. No, I don't do anything where I have to shave the beard. I got you. Okay. I have to do Santa Claus so many months of the year. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Let's go. Thank you. Um, there have been several really, really, really bad bites. I've had some friends who have been bit and they lose fingers. I mean, we've had, there's a guy who actually has lost his arm. So not any of our handlers, but People have accidents all the time. They're usually reaching into a wood pile. They're not paying attention, so they get bit. You get bit on the hand or on the finger, you're probably gonna lose the end of your finger just because the swelling is so very, very bad. Man, I don't know who the first JC thought it was a good idea. Hey, let's cut it up in chunks and sell it, deep fry it, and we'll, we'll sell it. Four years ago, I chaired the cook shack. Just on a weekend, we made over $16,000 in that little kitchen. Well, basically, it's kind of like chicken fry. We, we dredge it in with a, a cornmeal and flour and seasonings, and then we deep fry it. So it basically, it's kind of like chicken yeah. fried. I've even sent an email out to uh, that, uh, the, that Bizarre Foods, Andrew Zimmerman, mm -hmm. to come and try rattlesnake. You know, I've had rattlesnake sausage and there's a pizza place in uh, Burleson that cooks a pizza that's got peppers and jalapenos and everything. It's real hot pizza. That's one of their uh, meats they put on there is rattlesnake sausage. It's real good. Snake venom is a hemotoxin, so it works in the blood. It'll break down tissue, it liquefies tissue. Snake bites are very, very costly. The average snake bite, once you hit a medical institution, you're looking at about $200,000 if they don't have to care fly to you or transport you. So venom is very, very, it's very dangerous and bites are very costly. Almost all the snakes that are we have collected come within about a five to six county radius of where we're at. I mean, the state of Texas is huge. We're not hurting it. Last yeah. year we took in just under 25,000 pounds of snakes. Each snake roughly about two pounds, and we didn't put a dent in the population of what is out there. Hurry 
Give him a kiss. Wayne. <laughs> Um, what I say to the environmentalists and what we've said all along at Sweetwater JCs is don't legislate to us without knowing what we do. Please come hunt with me. I'll take you out. I will show you what we do. There are people out there who think that we're pouring gas down snake holes. That destroys habitat. It destroys land. We don't do that. The Sweetwater JCs fume rattlesnakes. We put a very, very minute amount of gas in its fumes. It's not liquid. That's all it takes to make these snakes come out of the den. I've hunted the same snake dens for 25 plus years and I get between 20 and 50 snakes out of every den I hunt. If I just poured gas down a hole, I'd destroy the habitat. I wouldn't be able to hunt those dens year after year after year and we wouldn't be able to put this roundup on for 59 years. Next year will be 60. And if you pour gas down the hole, you might kill the snake to where it wouldn't even come out. Yeah, you're going to kill the snake. I mean, if you dump a lot of gas on something, the snake is going to die anyway. And the Sweetwater JCs, we don't take dead snakes. We don't take snakes who are wet, who have gas all over them. Um, the Sweetwater JCs are all about safety and education and promoting that in the public. We don't torture these animals. We're not cruel. We're not crawling into bathtubs with these animals. Everything we do here at our Roundup is geared to safety and education. A lot of the hunters, they leave the smaller snakes to grow because they're there to also control the rodent population. If we killed all the snakes, you would have more mice and rats and rodents running around us. We would have a bigger problem. And that was one of my questions. Because it's kind of like fishing. You throw the little ones back. Right. And, and the rodents carry disease. And the snakes, not so much. We did an economic impact study the Chamber of Commerce did last year. This event brings in $8.4 million to the local economy. We're a very, very small town, 11,000 people. $8.4 million into this economy is the difference in some of our mom and pop businesses and operations staying open for the year. So this event is the lifeblood of our community. Come out to Sweetwater, Texas. We're not the biggest town, but guess what? We're the best, especially the second weekend in March. Absolutely, absolutely. I can attest to that. Thank you, Renee. Thank you very much. All right, that's good. You want to try one? Yeah. It tastes like a chicken wing, doesn't it? Sort of. It tastes a lot like gator. Very good.